It's not a very common thing to run across a safe and nice and just overall cool entity while exploring the back rooms. Most of them want to eat your face off or take you back to their den or mm, yeah. But the entity in today's video is the exact opposite. Entity 140 or Blanche as you might know her as is probably in the top two to three most beloved and appreciated entities throughout the Backrooms fan base, and almost everyone can agree on that. So in this video, I will be going over the full story, the full timeline, and all the details about Blanche. And from that, you'll be able to see why she is one of the most loved entities for the most part. I mean, some of y'all probably like Insanities or Entity 666 better. Anyways, leave a like if you want more full history and timelines about other backroom stuff. And without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So I'll split the video into a couple of parts. I'll start with Blanche's description with a rough timeline of her existence, and then I'll get into some theories and some lore surrounding her existence. Entity 140, or Blanche, is a tale as old as time itself in the back rooms. No, seriously, like, no one knows how old she is. We just know that she's always been here, and that she always will be here. Many people theorize that she is as old as the universe itself, since the level she controls has books about everything possible that's ever existed inside the back rooms. She lives in a level called the Cygnus Archive, or level 906, which I've actually gone over, so check that out in the description if you want, but just wait your laugh for this video. She takes the appearance of a humanoid woman figure and is pale with long golden hair and light blue eyes. But this is just how she makes herself appear. Even though she presents herself as a woman, she has no gender and is thought to be a romantic and asexual both. She's also famously known for the dresses that she wears, which are typically white or blue and very flowy and just very cool looking. She also wears this really cool sapphire pendant around her neck at all times, and almost every time she's seen, she has it on. So, from that description, she seems very human-like and mortal in a way, but she, she definitely is not at all, because her body has been reported to bend and to warp and to contort in strange, inhuman ways that defy gravity and defy physics and things like that. Think of Elastigirl from The Incredibles. You know, she can just bend and warp wherever. That's what Blanche can do too. Blanche herself has been described as non-Euclidean in many ways. And as of writing this, we don't know if this is because of her powers or if it's just an effect that level 906 gives her. We don't know. But I'd venture to say it's because of her powers, and I'm always right, so. On top of all that, Blanche has uh, shown a huge number of anomalous powers and abilities. Now, this list isn't a full list because we, we just don't know the extent of how powerful she is, but she's known to be able to read minds, to communicate telepathically, to move and warp and create and summon things just with her mind. She can also change her appearance instantly without even moving, and she can also alter the flow of time itself inside of the library on level 906. And possibly her most powerful thing is that she is constantly aware of everything inside of this library. She's omniscient. As you can see, that's a lot of power, and I honestly don't know what else she'd need to have. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's literally all the power some person can ever have, so. As far as we know, these powers are confined to level 906, but even then, I mean, she's, she's pretty much omnipotent or everywhere at once and has full control over everything the level, so she doesn't really need to leave anyway. When you arrive on level 906, you will actually be starting in her office, Blanche's office and each new visitor is personally greeted by the entity herself. Right after she greets you, she will ask you to tea. Now this is the one scenario inside of the back rooms and inside liminal spaces where it is okay to accept tea. Mostly it's not, mostly it's very dangerous and taboo to drink the tea, but here in this level, it's completely safe. I'll probably end up doing a whole video on tea in the back rooms, but anyways. So she'll invite you to get tea and to get to know you better. While drinking this tea, Blanche will tell you many stories about herself, about the library, about other visitors, and if you ask nicely, she'll pretty much talk your leg off, she'll talk forever. But she'll only tell you these if you tell her your story. That's the only condition. 
Blanche values politeness and genuine curiosity and manners. So if you want to make the most out of your time here on the level and with her, you got to be on your best behavior. In rarer instances, she's actually sent people out of the level for having bad manners and being rude. So, so yeah. And in even rarer cases, if you prove yourself to be like a really good visitor and a good conversationalist, she'll give you a book that she wrote herself as a sort of visiting gift, which is, I think that's pretty neat, to be honest. It's kind of like a token of coming to this level. Now, under the biology section of this level document, it doesn't really say anything about her biology. It actually says, quote, some things are best left unknown, dear, end quote. And that was written by Blanche herself. And she says that it's for your own safety that you don't know the true biology, which is just kind of creepy to me, but I still trust her, I guess. Statements like these make some people think that Blanche's true form is much more darker and more disturbing than we think. But as of right now, that's just a theory, a backroom theory. I really have to stop that. So over the millennia that Blanche has existed inside the backrooms, she's actually become one of Meg's most reliable sources of information about the backrooms levels and entities and creatures and everything. And it's because she has this library at her disposal with all the histories and information about levels that we know and levels that we don't know. And because of just how cool she is and how cool her design is, people have really just taken to liking her a lot. And that's why she's so popular inside the Backrooms fandom, because who doesn't love a very powerful, benevolent entity that makes you have good manners while drinking tea? Now, another important thing about Blanche is that she loves cats. And because of this, she has a companion that stays inside of level 906 at all times, another entity named Barry. Now, Barry is a black cat that has many anomalous properties about him himself. I could probably dedicate a whole video. But he can allegedly enlighten wanderers who look directly into his eyes, and they'll follow him kind of like a cult. Think of Jerry. Now, this enlightenment is very weird and unknown, but after it happens, you can actually hear Barry talking through the mouths of his cult followers. Like, he'll use them as vessels to talk. That's, that's right. This, this cat has a cult. A cult. A cult ran by a cat. They seem to worship Barry in a way, and they also protect him at all costs. Now, I mentioned Jerry earlier, but Barry hates when people mention Jerry, and if he hears you talking about him, he'll probably, like, make his acolytes attack you. So don't do that. But normally, Barry is a docile entity, even though he's that powerful. In fact, he's kind of, like, ridiculously powerful, and Blanche kind of guards him and keeps him contained in level 906, so he's safe from getting hurt or hurting other things. Now, we know this from a passage written in the description where Blanche says, I'm truly sorry, visionaries, but Barry is back where he belongs, back home with me. I hope you all will understand, but unfortunately, I know you won't. Barry is safer with me than he ever was with you, and I intend to keep it that way. Understood. So yeah. Blanche and Barry are our homies. They're just, they're dogs, you know? Nothing else to see here. They're just chill. Anyways, back to Blanche herself. It's really hard to construct an exact timeline of her existence since no one knows how old she is or where exactly she came from or how she got her power to literally be like a god, pretty much. But we do know that she's always existed in level 906. And we kind of know how powerful she is. And from these things and a few other clues, we can throw together this rough outline and timeline of her existence with help from a canon called the Pantheon Canon. I've kind of thrown together this outline with help from a few people from the Wiki.Server. server. So bear with me. This might get a little crazy for the next like 60 seconds or so. But hear me out. This is how Blanche came to be. So before the backrooms formed into what we know it as, a being known as Azul Kyra developed self-awareness and a personality and power. This godlike figure kind of formed. She then falls into a very deep slumber, and in this deep sleep, her consciousness takes the appearance of a library, which will go on to later be named Level 906. The entity Blanche then manifests herself inside of this dream as a sort of character avatar for Azokaira. An unknown time passes, and then after that, the backrooms is created. The first humans in ancient times to enter the backrooms begin to encounter Blanche and a few other entities like the Keymaster in the backrooms, and they begin to worship these entities because they think they're gods or deities or whatever. 
Eventually, these other deities will come together and they will be known as the Pantheon. The Pantheon eventually falls out of favor with the Wanderers, and Blanche cuts contact with them and reserves herself to level 906's safety. 400 years ago from our current time, Barry, the cat, gains his powers and forms his cult. And then 400 years later, we are in the present liminal era of the Backroom's time, and Blanche is still controlling and curating and protecting level 906, and honestly, who knows what else. She could have her hands at every level if we, we would have no idea if she did. All right, that is the rough timeline about how she came to be and all that stuff. It could be wrong. It could be right. It's just the only one that we have, so I'm going with it right now. And if you didn't hear anything from that, if it sounded like gibberish, pretty much Blanche is a very powerful creature that can control a lot and has been doing it for a long time. Now, if you encounter Blanche, do be polite to her. You know, drink the tea she offers, give her a conversation, and do not lose track of her in the library, or you might wander off forever, which you don't want to do. Trust me, you'll probably never be seen again. On the other hand, do not use vulgar language and do not be too noisy or rude, because if you do these things, you probably get sent out of the level by Blanche herself. So to summarize all of the blabbering and craziness I've talked about in this video, Blanche is a very anomalous, powerful, and very ethereal being that controls level 906 of the back rooms. And maybe more, we don't know. She is an ancient being that has telepathic powers and a vast knowledge of the back rooms. But she's also very sweet and kind and welcoming to the guests and to the wanderers who come to this level to meet her. So much so that people travel from every end of the back rooms to talk to her. She can float and warp and bend reality to her will inside of the level, and she does all these things while wearing that sick sapphire necklace, which is just pretty dope. The it, it looks really cool. How much cooler could you be? So yeah, that was my explanation, the timeline, and everything else about Blanche, the most loved entity in the back rooms. The Blanche page was admitted to the Wikidot sometime in late 2020, and ever since then, she has been a fixture in the lore, and I know thousands of people have enjoyed her presence. And I hope you did too. I think this might be a new series where I go over different levels and entities and objects and stuff and kind of give their full history and timeline. Let me know if you'd like that. I'm all for, like, more lore. I, I love that kind of stuff. I love lore. Anyways, thank you so much for all you do. I love and appreciate you, and I will see each and every person in the next video on one of my three channels that you should totally go subscribe to.